Hello and welcome to Asian Pulse TV, an informative and resourceful station. I'm your host, Shannon Pramol, and we're broadcasting from the unceded territories of the Silver Tooth, Musqueam, and Kwantlen Nation. We feel very blessed for the generosity of the first people of this land to share their land with us to live, laugh, and grow. This is their traditional and ancestral land. May 20th is Victims and Survivors of Crime Week. Vancouver and Lower Mainland Multicultural Family Services Society is holding a forum to talk about Victims of Crime Week and about your rights if you become a victim. This is taking place from 10.30 until 2.30 p.m. at Bonzer Community Centre. Let's take a short break and hear some words from our sponsors. I understand how important it is to have a place called home and it's frustrating using your hard-earned money on rent. Vic Prasad can make you a homeowner. Get pre-approved services provided to first-time buyers and new immigrants. You can qualify for mortgage even if you have bad credit. Call Vic Prasad now on 604-306-6647. Vic Prasad is associated with Craft Mortgages Canada Incorporated. For any kind of visa-related services, contact Milky Way Immigration, a galaxy of opportunities located at Unit 209-9547-152 Street, Surrey, BC. They have licensed immigration consultants, placement officers, and LMIA experts to meet your immigration and recruitment needs. Book one-time free consultation either on Facebook or by calling 604-396-0005. Bollywood Banquet Hall and Conference Centre, located at Pile Business Centre at 201-8166-128 Street in Surrey. No celebration is too small to accommodate you. They have newly renovated two halls to serve you, up to 1,000 guest capacity, top-notch chefs to delight you with delectable and heavenly cuisine. So just call Bollywood Banquet Hall at 604-598-2700 for your events. BNC Mobile Detailing Services. They offer... Commercial trucks, cars, SUV, boats, bikes, RVs, and much more. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859 and they will do all kind of services at your home. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Today's guests are Josie Chohan and Nina Vorha from Touching Lives Foundation who are here to talk about Mental Health Awareness Week, which is from May 1st until May 7th. Please have a look. We have two guests from Touching Life Foundation, and they are my guests, your guests today in the studio. And today we're going to be talking about Mental Health Awareness Week. As we all know, May 1st to May 7th is Mental Health Awareness Week. And we're going to be talking to these guests who are doing events and to talk about themselves, why they got involved during this week or in mental health. So welcome to both of you. Welcome, Nira. So introduce yourself, your background, and Josie. Josie has been our guest uh, before, and uh, so she will be talking about her own experience of ba battling with mental illness. So welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Camilla. Thanks, uh, Camilla. Uh, my name is Nira, and uh, Nira Singh, actually. And I have been in Canada since 24 years now. Uh, I grew up in New Delhi, India, so I'm there, and I'm married to a Fijian, so, <laughs> so you know, thank you for having me. Um, me and Josie met about 15 years ago, and we found that we were very like-minded. Uh, we were both, at that point in time, when I came 20 years ago, I think, you know, the first 10 years you just take to, you know, settle yourself and your family. Your focus is so much on yourself uh, that you are not able to, you know, do anything for anybody. Uh, and in the past five years or so, I think I realized that I was now at a stage where my family life and my private life was taken care of by the grace of God and that I could give back to the community. Mm -hmm. So this is what this is what we're doing. So Touching Dice Foundation is the product of me and Josie, you know, working together because we're so like minded and trying to give back to the community. And uh, about me, I'm uh, Josie Chauhan. And uh, just like Neera mentioned that, you know, we both are like-minded people and came together a couple of years ago and thought of giving back to the community. That's how the idea of Touching Lives Foundation, you know, came up. And we are a registered society and uh, we've been doing some fundraisers for the uh, last five years. We've been doing fundraisers for different causes in the community, like, you know, um, one year we raise funds for um, mental, coast mental health, another year to moving forward families, another year to Guru Nanak Free Kitchen, another year to women's shelter from pigs. So, and we love what we're doing, you know, and giving back to the community. But today we are here because uh, May 1st to May 7th is Men Canadian Mental Health Week. And uh, we wanted to do something for the community to raise awareness about mental health. And that's why, you know, we're uh, 
uh, putting an event together on the 7th of May at the Empire Banquet Hall. Uh, so there will be some speakers coming and, you know, speaking about mental stress, I mean, mental health and how to deal with the stress, depression, etc. So, so yeah, we are here to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So this year's theme is anxiety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, you both have done excellent work and I have been to many of your fundraising events that you have done and you have also raised money for the women's shelter that I was part of and that you gave the money to the women's shelter Guru Nanak Free Kitchen and other organizations. So, and that you do it every year around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and I'm so glad that you are taking, you are so passionate about mental health because mental health is something that nobody wants to deal with. It's still a stigma in the community Absolutely. that... Uh, we have diabetes, we don't have no issue going to the doctors, getting insulin, getting medication and all that. You have cardiovascular disease, no problem at all. But when we talk about mental illness, it's, it's a, the shame that we don't talk about it. So we have come a long way, at least we are sitting and talking yes. about it. Do you think that it's, um, especially our community, mm -hmm. do you think that we have reached a point that we are talking about anxiety, depression, mental illness. Camilla, I don't think we have reached there yet. <laughs> I don't think. I hope we get there soon, and I hope we start taking this very seriously. Uh, I see some, uh, you know, roadways that we have made, but as a community, I think we need to do much more, much, much more, and not just for ourselves. You know, we're not talking about our, our adults or our elders. I think the most prevalent mental health that I have noticed is in our kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest problem. You know, when we shut down ourselves because yeah. that's how we were raised and we look back at our upbringing that, you know, that we were just taught to suck it up and deal with it, that doesn't work for our kids. You know, our kids are battling two boats, right? They're mm -hmm. struggling these in these two cultures where, they're, where, where they come from. They're trying to honor that, their roots. But at the same time, they're also trying to, you know, be Canadian and, you know, get along with the rest of the Canadians and have that kind of thought and mentality. And I think that kind of pressure when we put on our kids, it just, uh, it's not fair. And, and for them to not even recognize that that is mm -hmm. mental health related, for them to not even know that they have, that there are resources that they can go and access um, I think I think it's going to be it's going to become a much bigger problem than we are seeing right now and that's what they did a research I think not yes. recently mm -hmm. yes. that they found our children are and they don't Absolutely. talk about they do cannot pinpoint what it exactly it is yeah. they cannot be focused yes they are withdrawal they are not eating mm -hmm. they are on this uh, electronic social media. social media and everything else. Even the pandemic is done and over with. Absolutely. But what pandemic has taught them to be glued to the their social yeah. media. Yes. And so they don't have that kids go out and Absolutely. play and join Absolutely. different uh, groups and things yeah. like that. Yeah. But you also experienced that, Josie. Yeah. Um, and I know um, I want you to talk mm, about your yeah. personal um, experience. My journey with mental health, you know, um, my journey with mental health uh, issues started since what I went through personally in my own life. Like uh, a couple of years ago, I uh, suffered from a very severe case of uh, uh, clinical depression, which was caused by chemical imbalance. That's what I was told. And uh, my background is healthcare. Um, and I knew what was happening to me, sort of, that I was not well. I was very depressed and uh, um, I wasn't myself and I lost a lot of weight. I know my mood went down, etc. Uh, but like uh, Neera mentioned, it's a shame. Um, I always thought like, you know, I mean, I was doing well in my, you know, in the community, at work and everything. And my first thought was, if I tell someone about what I'm going through, what will others will say? You know, the shame, the shame. That's what it was, right? Mm -hmm. And I was, I was in denial. Like I just felt like I don't want to tell anyone I probably will get better on my own, but I wasn't. I was getting worse and worse day by the day, day by day, to a point where I didn't want it to live. And that's where the um, that's where the breaking point came. And I finally have to call a friend and tell her that you know I'm really going through a very tough time, to a point like where I don't feel like I want to live, and that means suicidal thoughts, right? And then I knew I needed to get help. Luckily for me, that friend I couldn't even 
uh, speak to my family about it because I felt like they don't understand me. Mm-hmm. And uh, because they are like, you know, um, we have everything going. Why are you feeling like this? Let's go out to dinner. Let's go on a vacation. I'm like, no, that is not going to help me right now, you know. So my friend is the one who actually came to support me, took me to a doctor. That's where it started, right, by saying to calling someone and saying, I need help. Yes. I need help. Mm-hmm. You know, that that's how it started, step. right? Yeah. Yeah. So since then, you know, of course, you know, the uh, doctor's appointments, psychiatrist appointments, therapy, whatnot, it took me almost like 14, 15 months to, to actually come back to myself, right? And then I realized at that point, like I wasn't getting the appointments with a you know, psychiatrist when I needed them. There was always a waiting period. Didn't know where to go to get some free counseling or therapy or anything like that, right? So, and I said, you know what, uh, the mental health is the a, a topic where no one wants to really pay attention to, or it was not looked at, you know, sort of. So I thought, you know, we need to do something about it. Since then, I started to speak about mental health, as, you know, actually speaking about my own journey, because that's the only way I can relate to others yeah. who are going through the same issues, right? Yeah. So that's where it started, you know, and... Uh, uh, lucky for me, I'm doing good with the grace of God, by the grace of God. And, uh, you know, I, I still go to therapy sometimes. It's an ongoing, you know, ongoing journey for me because you don't really get out of it 100%, but you have to stay healthy by doing different things like meditation or yoga or, you know, speaking to friends or whatever it takes, right? And most importantly, like you mentioned, Camila, that mental health is very stigmatized in the community. Mm-hmm. And we were raised with that mindset, like, you know, in back home in India, they would say, if someone was feeling depressed or whatever, they say, oh, it's mm-hmm. not understanding what they were yeah. saying. Because for me, I feel that uh, the the brain is uh, part of your body. Right? Yes. It's an organ, yeah. part of your body. If your body gets sick, if you have diabetes, you have cancer, if you have flu, whatever, you speak about it openly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you go to the doctor to get help. Yeah. And why not this? Yeah. You know, that I is mean, the there one. is... Yeah, the the treatments are available, and mm-hmm. and because you know when the when the when the people go to depression and when they don't get the help, what it ends up in suicides. Yeah, you know yeah. it's just that uh, your thought process is so so like negative. You just instantly you know you make the decision of not wanting to live, right? Yeah. So this is where I come from, and I speak about it, and uh, and knowing I mean the May first week is Mental Health Week. You know we thought like. Me and Neera thought, why not put something yeah. together from Touching Nice Foundation mm-hmm. and uh, to raise awareness and talk about it. Mm-hmm. So if anyone wants to come in, you know, they can get help or listen. And, and it's a free event. We're not charging anything. There will be refreshments and everything. You know, it will be a nice event. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So talk about the event that you guys are putting together for during the Mental Health Week. Yeah. So the it's going to be like Josie said, it's going to be on May 7th. It's a Sunday and the time is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Empire Banquet Hall and at the York Center. And we uh, the session is going to have a few speakers. So we've, what we've done is we want to bring in mental health, but also provide perspectives like how mental health impacts, let's say, a person who... Um, who is suffering from violence at home, right? Or, or even uh, somebody who's coming out of a relationship uh, or even somebody who's actually has a background of mental health as Touching Lives Foundation or even poverty, right? You know, at Touching mm-hmm. Lives Foundation, what we do is we have three main causes that we support and uh, how mental health is connected with each of them. So the first one is poverty, you know, with COVID and everything else and and lack of resources, mm-hmm. more uh, people today that we know are suffering financial hardships. You know, mm-hmm. kids at school are mm-hmm. going hungry and, and we see that on a daily basis. And how does that play into your mental health when you when you're when you're hungry, you know, mm-hmm. what, what you're so worried yeah. about food, how mm-hmm. do you even focus on what's going on with your brain, especially with kids? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one of them. And the second one is uh, domestic violence. I guess I guess if there's one thing that is less talked about in our community, mm-hmm. it's domestic violence, uh-huh. right? And how does that, what role does that play on somebody's mental health? Mm-hmm. Uh, and at the end, uh, I think, you know, what we also need to focus on is, the, yes, you know, there are people who are suffering from mental health, but how about people around them mm-hmm. that want to support them, but they mm-hmm. don't know, but they don't know what, sure. how can they support them? Because it's such an awkward conversation, oh, you know, wow. you, people get, I myself got caught into that, you know, when I kind of, semi quasi knew that Josie was going through something. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to approach her. Mm-hmm. I was doubtful. Am I going to say something that's going to make yeah, it worse? So you know, what is the right thing to say? True. And, and, uh, 
And I think we get so caught up in that, that, that uh, you know, we don't realize or we don't know that just the simplest conversation, hey, I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. You might not be ready to talk about it right now. Yes. You know, you might not be able to tell me what you're going through right now. But whenever you are, just know that I'm here, right? Yes. Yeah. And I think that's such a simple magic phrase. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to know about it, right? We need to tell people about it because sometimes people do want to help, but they just don't know how. So the, so the session is also going to talk about how mm-hmm. if we have somebody in our lives that is going through mental health, mm-hmm. how can we support them? Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't have to be that you have to financially support them. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be that you have to drive them somewhere. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be that big a mountain. It could be these small, you know, small conversations mm-hmm. that you can have with them. Uh, and that the, the, the session is going to cover that as well. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing is somebody that listens to you and believe you. Yeah. Yes. And you don't have to be expert. Like Absolutely. you say, yeah. Yeah. you know, you don't have to be a mental health mm-hmm. psychologist, mm-hmm. Or, Absolutely. you yeah. know, to be able to support Absolutely. somebody who is going through a rough mm-hmm. time in the, in mm-hmm. there. You are not there to give them advice, but yeah. you are there to listen to them. And I think this is what we don't have these days. Mm-hmm. We don't have a friend. We cannot pick up yes. the phone and talk to somebody. Just say, this is how I'm feeling. Yes. Do you have a minute to listen to me? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't need no, no yeah. advice because I know what to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so that is so important. And like you say, that when you at this forum that you are having mm-hmm. on Sunday, mm-hmm. next Sunday, that people will be talking about that. How yeah. can you support your neighbor? Yeah. How can you yeah. support your loved one? And and yeah. you are hundred percent right. Sometimes you're too scared to say, I don't want to say yeah. something wrong, wrong that makes yeah. it worse. That yeah. might trigger exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and they said, Why when I tr- yeah, open up to them? Yeah. You know, and just always get the permission from them. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. yeah. So this is a free event. It's yeah. a free event. And I think, Camilla, just want to add is that, like you said, that sometimes we don't have friends, but I think sometimes we don't ask for help. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, if we, if we just ask for help, I think we would be surprised at how many people are there yeah. to support us. Yeah. But I think as a community, uh, you know, we're taught to just be very self-independent, very self-reliant, mm-hmm. not ask for help. I think that needs to change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Also, it doesn't hurt sometimes if you, if you see your friends, you know, they're completely disappeared. You know, you don't see them anymore. Pick up the call, phone and just check on them. How they're doing? You know, is everything okay with you? You know, they might come up and say, you know what, I'm not doing too good, or yeah. I'm feeling very low last few yeah. days. Right? Whatever it takes. You know, we can save a life. You know. Yes. That's all it is. Yeah. I mean, the suicide rates are going up in Canada. Yeah. Even in my friend circle, in the last few years, like five years, I've seen three people committed suicide. They were all young, mm-hmm. 30s yeah. and 40s. Right? Yeah. yeah. And we you knew can them prevent that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So, and. Uh, yeah. You know, like the like you said, you were talking about research. One in now, the recent, most recent one is one in one in every three Canadians will suffer or has suffered from some kind of yeah. mental health disorder. And I think in that's, their lifetime, in their yeah. lifetime, and yeah. that's I think that's a huge number. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And, I, and this three of us sitting here, one out of that yeah. would have suffered. I Absolutely, exactly, and yeah, and that's true. Yeah, and she has, yeah, and she has. So this is how close we are. Yeah, and just because we don't want to talk about yes. it, we want to hush, hush, hush. Yeah. That is gonna go away. It's gonna go away. It's not going not away. Go away. It's yeah. not going away. And, then, and there is no shame to be talking no. about that and ask for help. Yeah. yeah, even if you go to the doctor, you have pain here. Exactly. They will look. They put bandage, mm-hmm. whatever. But in your head, we don't know what's going through yeah. that. Yeah. Your doctor is not your mind reader. No. You have to say, this is how I feel. I don't have no appetite. I can't yeah. sleep. Yeah. I cannot focus. I don't have no exactly. energy. You know, there's exactly. so many medications too. It's not that once you're going to be put on any kind of antidepressant, you have to live on that depression all your life. Exactly. It's nothing like yeah. that. And you know, we, we seriously have to normalize mental, mental health. health. Yes. That's all I pray. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. We seriously need to ma- normalize talking about yeah. mental health. Yeah. And there should not be any shame. No. I mean, Simple e- as exactly. that. Exactly. I mean, even as a community, if you look at, like, you know, politically or things that, that, that get funded, yeah. you know, if we don't talk about it, if there's no statistics, if there's no data, yeah. there's going to be no support. Yeah. You know, right. we say, oh, yeah. you know what, for example, look at the lineup of the psychologists. Yeah. You know, you can't see a psychologist for six months. That's because they don't know it's needed. Yes. The government mm-hmm. doesn't know it's needed. So yeah. we have to participate in this conversation, you know, create a noise that's, you know, there, there, yes, there's demand. But unless we do that, we're not going to get resources to support support this. And as a community, I think, you know, we're like you were talking about this um, technology. We're, we're so quick. Oh, my God, the kid is always on technology. Right? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. We're very quick to put it off. We're very yeah. quick to blame something else or somebody else. 
uh, I think we need to start taking responsibility ourselves and, yeah. you know, say, okay, it starts with me and it ends with me. And you know what? I'm going to just stand up and say, add to this instead of blaming, oh, I can't go to the doctor because there's no doctors available. I can, you know, I can, mm-hmm. I can, I can because somebody else's problem. And uh, it's becoming our problem. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think it's also very, very important to highlight mm-hmm. with the children too. Mm-hmm. Adult, we are adult. Yes. We can make choice. Mm-hmm. But children, they're not going to come no. and say about that. And they will be locking up in the rooms and all that. And that's why the suicide rate mm-hmm. is so yeah, high. Exactly. Because they don't have nobody to talk to. to, talk to yeah. Or even if they are talking to yeah. somebody on social media and they yeah. get bullied in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, exactly. cyberbullying and all I that. Know. And the example that they that they look up to is us, is the parents. Yeah. If yeah. we're shutting down, if yeah. we're not sharing our feelings, how we're feeling, how we're feeling, mm-hmm. what are our kids learning from us? Yeah. It's silence. That's what they're learning from us, to suffer in silence. Even adults don't want to see yeah. about yeah. it. They, yeah. Even they're going through bad depression or whatever, they don't want to speak about mm-hmm. it. They hide it. No. Yeah. And another thing is like social media. Like everyone puts out this happy post like yeah. my life is mm-hmm. so perfect yeah you know and that affects others like oh if i say something about yeah. me how i feel what will they say what will they yes. think right mm-hmm. you yeah. know mm-hmm. yeah. so we have to have mm-hmm. open discussion about you know with the children yeah. and the adults you know yeah and it's okay to talk about mental health yeah. it's okay to say i'm yeah. not feeling good I'm mm-hmm. not and proud. i think we don't talk about feelings we can ask our children, yeah. how did you do in school? What did yeah. you do in school? Did yeah. you eat your lunch? Yeah. Or did yeah. you? what did you do? Did you play? But yeah. you never how ask you our children, how are you feeling? Yeah. What is going through? How are you mm-hmm. feeling? We never talk about yeah. feelings. Sometimes they we get bullied in school. Yeah. 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 That could yeah. be, you know, so like, that is something that we all have to pay attention to yeah. each other. And talk about your feelings. Yeah. I am down today. I am not here today i don't feel like cooking today i'm too bored i'm mm-hmm. too tired my brain is i got brain fog or whatever yeah. talk about your feeling yeah. they will yeah. open up and mm-hmm. talk about their feelings too then exactly <laughs> last bit so you want to invite everybody yes. for this free workshop absolutely and, yes. and how do they register and who they call so yeah so they, it's an event bright registration link uh, that in our phone numbers we'll give our phone numbers you can contact us but on event bright if you go just look up touching lies foundation the or look up the event by may 7th they should be able to find it they are uh, and our numbers are my i'll start with mine 604-603-4684 near us Inc. and mine is 778-892-7388 that's josie chauhan yeah. So you can call us anytime and we can give you further details about yeah. our free event. Yeah. So and it's a free event. It's a so free it's event. From and there'll be nice refreshments to all Indian style. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or pakoras. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and just yeah. think yeah. of yeah. And, and, and just in closing, Camilla, I think, you know, what me and Josie are trying to do is supplement that uh, provincial, you know, kind of like a um, uh, medical services when we say that we don't have... Uh, resources that's what we're trying to do mm-hmm. this event brings together yeah. you know few resources that people may not know where to start yeah you know absolutely. you might you say i'm going through something or i know somebody who's going through something and i don't know where to start you know this event is for you come and find out you know what are some yeah. other things some other symptoms that you might recognize in yourselves or mm-hmm. even others and or if you or if somebody around you is going through that how can you have that conversation that first conversation with them and and even go come and look at other people who might be facing the same that you are and when mm-hmm. you see that you're not alone in this there are m- many more that are suffering and going through the same thing would probably validate what you're going through and uh, you know make you aware that you know that this is something not to be ashamed of this mm-hmm. is something to be talked about yeah and Josie I know there are mm-hmm. so many people that are watching you and they have called you in the past yes, and want to have. talk to you yeah, because mm-hmm. you have been through that yes. what it's like and you have always supported these people and both of mm-hmm. them are sitting in here so you can talk to them and yeah, I am going to be there yeah all I wanted to say is there is always hope even though you're going through any kind of stressful situations in your life which is causing you you know, depression or anxiety. Yeah. Like she said, this year's theme is anxiety. And I was there. I've been to all these yeah. anxiety attacks. I used to run to Burnaby emergency thinking that I'm having a heart attack. Right. Yeah. But I'm still here, you know, which means like I've gone, I've taken the therapy, you know, I use all the tools they were given to me to how to cope with anxiety. Right. So please do come to this event on the 7th of May. And like Neera mentioned, you can learn how to, you know, the tools available, the, the, you know, the, the support available, etc. Or if you or your family, or your family member or friend, if they're going through this situation, you know how to support them and help them. You can learn about these tools. So do come, and uh, it's a free event. So 
Yeah. I'm looking at the clock. Thank you so much to both of you for coming in. And I'm going to be there. And those people that are sitting home and watching, it's a free event. Come and say hi to us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Camila, for having us. Thank you, Camila, for having us. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. We have some announcements that you would like to attend, so have your pens and paper ready. Mental Health and Wellbeing Workshop is taking place on May 7th from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Empire Banquet Hall in Surrey. That's 12888 128th Street in Surrey. It's a free event and you can register by going onto Eventbrite or calling to register. The No Ties 1879 podcast and Indo-Fijian Cultural Society is hosting a Gurmithya Day on Saturday, May 13th from 1.30 until 4.30 p.m. at Clayton Community Center in Surrey. This will be a reflection of the lived experiences and history of indentured laborers in Fiji. A food drive fundraising in aid for Nilesh Chandra for his medical treatment in India is taking place on May 13th from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. at 14027 59A Avenue. This will be halal chicken plow and tomato chutney cost for $10 per serving. For tickets or more information, you can call Milesh Prasad at 604-720-5754 or Sumin Prakash at 604-618-4600. The Richmond Night Market is open now until every weekend until the end of September. They have cuisines from all over the world, so make sure you go out and try the different types of foods and support the Richmond Night Market. Again, if you've missed any of our shows, you can watch it again tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. and again on Saturday at 5.30 p.m. on Shaw Cable. All of our shows are uploaded onto YouTube channel under Asian Pulse TV. So please watch, like, comment, and su subscribe. Asian Pulse also brings three other shows each and every week. Fiji in Focus you can watch on Tuesdays at 10 p.m., Thursdays at 2.30 p.m., and Sundays at 4 p.m. The Camilla Singh Show on Mondays at 10 a.m. and again on Sundays at 5.30 p.m. And VT Vibes TV on Thursdays at 10 p.m. and Sundays at 4.30 p.m. All of our shows are uploaded on YouTube channel under Camilla Singh Shows. Before I leave, I'll leave you here with these thoughts. When you cut off someone from your life, they will never tell the people the full story. They will only tell them the part that makes you look bad and they are innocent. The author's unknown. With that being said, have a great week and we'll see you all next week. I'm your host, Shannon Primal, signing off.